So I wasn't planning on having flowers grow in my greenhouse. But man, that sure is a pretty flower in there. Look at how happy that thing is. I wasn't really planning on uh, doing a garden update video either. But uh, I saw something kind of surprising and made me happy. I was really happy to see. Uh, it just popped overnight. And uh, we're going to get to that towards the end of the video. First, I'm going to take you inside the greenhouse and give you a look around in there without the plastic in our way. So here we go. I'll take you inside. And just overnight, everything seems to have exploded. As far as the uh, cucumbers are concerned, they have exploded. Uh, I did just water everything, and that's why I saw what I saw, and I wanted to uh, put a video out. But, uh, yeah, so underneath these cucumbers, which I kind of knew this was going to happen, are the bell peppers that I planted from kind of like an experiment from the seeds that I bought bell peppers at the grocery store. And I just wanted to see if I could get anything to grow. Um, I think if I started them earlier in my house and was able to transplant them out here, it would have been much better because they'd be a lot farther along at this point. But I just... Like I said, it was an experiment. I wanted to try it. Next year, I want to try hopefully starting them inside earlier and see what I can make happen. And next year, I'm hoping to have a second greenhouse up. Okay, so I did see a little the beginnings of little cucumbers. Let's see if I can find the the one again that I saw earlier. There we go. So right there, just the beginnings of little cucumbers. But that makes me happy. Was, at first I was thinking, man, they're really taking their time, but they just exploded overnight. Herb section, I'm not even going to worry about it really. Uh, I think I have some tarragon right there, but I can't really see anything else coming up. So, no, that's oregano. I believe that's oregano. I don't know. I don't know my herbs that well, I guess. But. I think they're going to kind of get blocked out and overrun by the cucumbers anyway. I'm not really too worried about the herbs this year. So these are the uh, bush beans. The garden beans, early bush. And they're definitely getting started. Get it to focus. Lots of flowers coming out on them. So hopefully with the doors being open in the daytime, the bees will come in and pollinate. Gray squash. So I have some squash started last year. If you remember my videos, I had problems with them pollinating good enough. I believe that was the problem I had because I had a lot of... Um, rot the zucchini would get so big and then it would just rot on the vine um, and i'm hoping this year that i can alleviate that problem um, if anybody has suggestions please leave it in the comments below i know there are a lot better gardeners than me but i would like to learn how to get this stuff right uh, the tomatoes are flowering. The Rama tomatoes are really flowering now. They're happy and got lots of Rama tomatoes flowering. They seem pretty happy. They're uh, 
a little bit more anemic than most than they have been in the past but uh, let's see I don't know if you can see that line is in the way if you can see it very well but right there is one two three four five six seven eight behind that over there it's really hard to see and i'm sorry i can't focus and get in there but i have a wire cage around it so that because these all i came in one day and they were all flopped over they just got they grew too tall and got too high so they're really hard but there's another set of five back in on the back side uh, this one will be a little bit better to see there's another two right there at least two another set of flowers more flowers up top and these are the uh, nature's nature's bite tomatoes over on this side over here and then on the bottom side or the back side that is the Roma tomatoes and I believe I planted four Roma tomatoes and eight of the early bites I believe that's what Kyle gave me and so far like this this one right here is doing the best for the early start but I am hoping that all the rest will come on and add to my stockpile of tomato powder because I'm assuming that they're all going to the way the flowers look they're all going to come all at once and I will be running the dehydrator to save the tomatoes and possibly uh, doing a couple batches of canning of the Roma tomatoes. Oh, let's show, they show you that uh, fireweed flower. That is a uh, uh, volunteer in the greenhouse. But man, it sure is pretty. That is a very pretty volunteer. I'll take those in the greenhouse. I won't pull those up. It's growing on the outside of the flower bed. There's another one. So I really don't mind them being in the greenhouse. Hopefully they'll attract pollinators. All right, let's go outside. I have a little clip of this that I'll pop in right about here. This is one of the experiments that I was running. This is uh, green onions that I uh, that just the uh, the bottom little bit with a little bit of roots on it. Just a little bit. If you remember back in the spring, like really early in the spring, I was showing you what I was doing uh, with the uh, green onions, and I just. I brought a whole bunch home, I dehydrated most of them, and I left about this much of the white with the roots. And uh, this, I just came out to look at them. A couple of them were bent over, uh, and I just want to see how they're doing. So this one and this one, they were bent over. I'm not sure what happened, but... They definitely weren't going to grow anymore. But there they are. Right there. I have the greens that I can still use. Plus, I have really small onion bulbs. Which, these are supposed to be green onions. So, uh, I'm not really sure. And then, so, I have some that are turning more yellow. And I just want to harvest a couple of them and see what is going on with them. So whenever I... That one I just uh, broke the greens off of. I'll get in here with my finger and I'm just going to dig up a few of them. To see 
Well, it looks like they're all about the same. So that is what your green onions will turn into if you replant them. In the past, I, I figured that I'd just be getting greens off of them and uh, harvesting, but my greens never, never really got very tall. They're only about five or six inches tall, but the bulbs are actually bigger than I expected as well. Um, I just, now Kara had some over in her flower bed or in her garden beds down by the road and her greens are really tall. They're like a foot tall um, and she had the bulbs as well. I am going to harvest uh, one more right now and then I want to let a, a few more of them, the ones that are looking good. I want to let them grow more and see if the bulbs get bigger. So let's take that one right there. Now that is more what I expected them to do. Just grow a little bit, but he, he doesn't really have the greens. And a lot of that I have Keone to blame too, because she would come in and harvest my greens off of the top of my onions. And she did that. Oh, look at how innocent she looks right now. She says, it wasn't me. I didn't do it. You can't blame me. But she came over and she harvested my green onions probably three or four times before she finally gave up. She's not dead, she's just a hot dog. Flip her over, she's done on this side. But anyway, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let the, the rest of these grow. And uh, they're dry. Today is a water day. It needs to get watered pretty bad. The uh, grow bags dry out a lot faster pretty much have to water them every day and I did not water last night so but they do they do uh, dry out a lot faster if, if anybody is wondering about the girl bags uh, I kind of like my raised my raised beds better because they seem to hold the water better my garlic it was really going strong and now they're bending over I'm not sure what's happening with them. They're kind of bending over and falling. And they're about the size of a little bit bigger than a nickel, but not quite as big as a quarter. This is my experiment with uh, potatoes in the grow bags to see how they, how they do. I probably should have done a few extra, but I ran out of dirt, ran out of time. So I just gonna live with uh, one as my experiment this year. This is my second batch of garlic in the tires. And maybe the tires are getting too hot in the, in the sun uh, and that's causing them problems. I'm not sure because these that are just in the flower bed or in the raised bed, these garlic, they don't seem to be bending over flopping over but they are changing color the leaves are so I'm not sure these beets are actually beets that I transplanted um, and because I, when I was thinning out I transplanted a row of beets in here so that's why they're stunted back a little bit compared to what this is and let me see if I can, it won't let me back out anymore, but that is carrots and beets kind of got mixed together. Uh, I think it looks really cool though. 
and Kara is going to harvest some of the beet greens for salad uh, tomorrow night. So that's going to be really good. And this is the gray squash, gray zucchini. Uh, and I have one really good flower on it. Right there, with a fairly decent squash. If I can get a get picture and it started. So hopefully that will develop. Another one right below it. Very nice. Okay. Lots and lots of future flowers coming on. So they seem pretty happy. I have a lot, I have way too many smashed into that small location, but I wasn't sure how it was gonna do. I'm learning next year I won't plant nearly as many. But I hope to have uh, squash coming out of my ears and uh, be able to um, preserve some of them, whether we use uh, the salt and dry them, dry them or uh, freeze them, just slice them up and freeze them. So I try to preserve them. And then this bed here, more of the uh, zucchini and squash. Got, oh, sorry, I know I'm not a very good cameraman, am I? Got another nice one growing right there. Get the, the low down on the squash. So, and then my bush beans here. They seem to be doing a little bit better than what's inside the greenhouse uh, as far as quantity of flowers. They're about the same size. It's just been so warm though this year. Got flowers everywhere. But what really got me excited today, and I didn't see any of these yesterday, it's like they popped overnight. And right there. My sugar snap peas are, I love sugar snap peas. And it's like they popped. There's, I don't know. You can't really see them very well. There's some of them are hiding in the back. Mosquito, I got my decorative watering can that the bottom, it leaked. So I just turned it into a planter. But I actually got one growing on it. A couple more flowers. See if I can get a few different angles on some of these. To see, there's another one. You've got Two right there, another one right there. And for me, this is pretty good to have this many come up when I planted them. I usually get three or four plants that make it this far and start giving me sugar snap peas. And there's another one there. And this is just the beginning. Look at all the flowers that they got on them. I think they're I think they're gonna do marvelous this year. And I think so are my beans. Now I did plant some black beans in here. 
And I really don't know that any of them even came up. But we'll see. See which beans actually popped up for me. And then we've harvested the rhubarb. But there's still a lot that were just green. So we left... Uh, I think Kara said she harvested about half of the plant and left the other half. So we're going to probably next week they'll be ripe enough to harvest. Because you don't want to harvest the green ones. You don't want to eat the green ones. You want to wait until they're red. I am hoping that my chives will flower. Well, they are flowering. I'm, I'm hoping that they'll go to seed and replant themselves. If not, I will start them over again in a better location. That was that was just where they got put. A lot of a lot of what I do is just this is I wing it way too much probably. And then my potatoes. My potatoes are happy. I've hilled them. That's what those boards are underneath. I put a another uh, border around them, so and then I dumped a whole bunch of leaves on top of them, and the leaves will hold the moisture in, and let the potatoes be happy. They're getting. I used to think that they stretched, trying to get to the sun, and maybe they're stretching because they're so close together, and, and stuff. But because uh, I planted so many in there. So maybe they're fighting with each other to get to the sun. But they sure are green. It's very pretty. It's been a hot, dry summer. So I'm going through the water. Um, probably about 70, 80 gallons a week that I'm going through to keep just this little bit of uh, garden watered. Imagine what happens when I get everything done. But the sugar snap peas, that's what I wanted everybody to see. The, the sugar snap peas, that's what I kind of wanted everybody to see. I was really excited about that. That made me happy. My, uh, my greenhouse exploded. And so has the, uh, the sugar snap peas, the beets and the carrots. I've never gotten carrots to grow uh, any size. I mean, if they got this tall, I was really happy, you know, and had a carrot like this long. That was amazing. And it, I'm looking at them now. And, you know, they're almost a foot high for the greens. And I'm just imagining uh, biting into one of those carrots that I grew. And uh, how wonderful that's going to taste. Looking forward to that. Uh, I'm going to quick going on about my garden i'm i am excited uh, i just came out and saw that and i just had to put it out there on a video but thank you for watching this edition of not so remote alaska and until next time may god bless and keep each and every one of you and with that i'm out